It's irrigation season again, and with high demand for city water, here's how you can make good choices about the amount of water you put on your lawn. Check it out. About 60% of all water use in the city of Bend is used at the residential level, and of that 60%, well over half is used to irrigate the landscape. That's why we're going to talk about four different steps that we can take to make sure that our irrigation systems are operating efficiently as we enter the growing season here. The first step to starting up your irrigation system for the growing season is to do a quick visual inspection of all the sprinklers. Get close up to, next to the foundation here too. Make sure you find the sprinklers that are up next to the foundation that might be embedded in plants or underneath some mulch. Clear them away, clear any obstructions away. And then what you want to do is work your way back to the irrigation valves. I recommend using a sturdy pair of gloves when opening up these boxes because you never know quite what's going to be inside. But when you look at the valves, you're just going to do a quick visual inspection and take a look at the wiring to make sure that all your connections are still intact. When you're doing your visual inspection, take a look at individual sprinklers and make sure that they're free of any obstructions. Like this sprinkler here, it's got a bunch of grass around it. We need to come through here and clean this out so that it's going to be able to spray properly. The next thing to do during our inspection is to take a look at the irrigation assembly backflow. This is a really important piece because this separates our irrigation, our irrigation system from our home's clean water, uh, our drinking water. When you're inspecting the irrigation backflow assembly, really all you're looking for are any cracks, leaks, or anything out of the ordinary. Now that our irrigation assembly backflow inspection is complete, we're going to go ahead and turn the water on to our irrigation system. It's important to turn these valves nice and slow until the system builds up the pressure and fills up. Now that we have water up to our irrigation valves, it's time to turn each one on and get the air out of the system. This is another example of an irrigation sprinkler that was hidden. I'm going to dig under here and you can see that there's a sprinkler there. So I'm going to cut this out. There it is. I'm going to clean this off and it's ready for another growing season. Now that our irrigation system is up and operational, it's time to turn our irrigation controller on. As a general rule of thumb, we want to water one time per week this early in the growing season. That's about 15 to 20 minutes per station with the ultimate goal of putting down one inch of water every four days. You can measure this with a rain gauge that you can pick up for free at the waterwisetips.org display in the city hall. And remember, City of Bend water customers need to follow the city's irrigation hours. No irrigation is allowed between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Best time to water is at night or really early in the morning. And always watch for water on the sidewalk. That's a Bend code violation. For this information and more, check out our website at waterwisetips.org or send us an email at conservation at bendoregon.gov.